What's going on guys? Today we're going to be talking about auto scrolling, which is going to be super fast. I'm not even going to spend that much time on that. And we're going to be talking about adding a join page, you know, where you join the chat room that you want to join. Um, yeah, we're going to be doing that today. And I do want to apologize guys because I haven't been uploading videos like I usually do, which is pretty much every day. Um, but work got the better of me. So I hope you guys understand, but thank you guys again still for actually still watching my, my videos. So without further ado, let's get right into the video. All right, first things first, auto scrolling. So let me pull up my, let me pull up the uh, application first of all. So that way you can know what I'm talking about. Okay. Something went wrong. That went wrong. So if you start up your local host 3000, as you can see, if I just press enter for right now, although this is a bad thing, not having text, you can better day for that. Anyways, uh, you can see right now that it's not actually scrolling down. So if I type something, we can't see it. We would actually have to scroll all the way down to actually see it. And you know what? I, I don't, I don't want to do that. So we're going to make a simple auto scrolling. So when anybody types, It'll just automatically scroll all the way down. So we're going to make a function function and we're going to call it scroll to bottom just like so. And in this function, we're going to grab, let me open up index HTML. This is where we're storing all of our chats, right? Our messages. So we're going to grab this ID because we want to, we want to know that whenever the last element hits or whenever there's a the last element, we want to scroll to that last element that's inside of this OL. So we're going to grab this and copy this. I'm going to create a variable. So let messages equal document dot query selector. We're going to grab it by the ID of messages and we're going to dot last, get the last element child. And that should not be right there. That actually should be right here. Just like that. And we're literally, 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 I promise you literally going to just <laughs> put messages dot scroll into view. Now this is a uh, JavaScript method where, <clears throat> so let me, let me, let me, let me explain what I'm trying to do with that. Messages is literally the OL. All right. Every time we create a new message, we actually add an LI. See this LI? We actually add that LI inside the OL, right? So we're grabbing the last child element, which is the last li which is the last message the user input we're going to grab that that last message which is stored right here in messages and we're going to just scroll into view so if we if you don't see it we're going to scroll into view so if, it's, it's pretty much simple let me try to um let me restart my server all right as you can see we didn't we couldn't scroll into view last time but now if we actually scroll and it's not doing it. So let me see what's going on. Oh, we never called this function. Uh, silly me, silly me. We're going to call this function inside of new messages. So every time someone creates a new message, just down below right here, we're going to scroll to that new message. So control save. Let me restart my server once more. Or now if you hit enter all the way, you're going to see, you see the scroll bar is actually staying to the bottom. So let me scroll all the way top and let's say some user types a message, press enter and it scrolls all the way to the bottom. So that way we can see that message. Now, obviously this is not very UX friendly or, you know, user experience is not very nice because what if I want to read all the messages up here, right? If I want to read old messages, well, if people keep on typing. I'm always going to see the new message appear, but I'm still reading up here, which is kind of annoying. And I didn't want to do too much to this app. 
you could actually add that functionality on yourself and it's actually a pretty easy um how, how would you say it? it's pretty easy to do to implement and you would add it inside this function right here okay i don't want to do that right now i don't want to do everything for you guys i mean you gotta you gotta you know google some of these things uh we all google so it's just a joke i mean but yeah really you do have to google some of these things so anyways i'm gonna add it to my new location message because if we do it right now or if we scroll it doesn't do it for our new location message see even though we did do it it didn't scroll all the way down that's because we don't have it but control save and we are done with auto scrolling this is i told you it's gonna be dead simple it's gonna be dead fast dead simple now we're gonna be doing the join page, okay? So every time you hit localhost 3000, it automatically opens up index.html because that's the that's the entry point for this application. We actually don't do not want to do this, so we're gonna just rename this index.html. I'm gonna just rename it to um, chat. So chat.html. I'm also gonna rename this index.js to chat.js. So rename to chat and since we and since we um, modified it here we do have to modify it down here right here chat control save so let's see if everything's working so that way we don't mess up anything go right here control r oh oh that's because we cannot get it that's right <laughs> so that's because we're pointing to index.js uh, we will fix that later on down this video, but right now we are going to create a new file inside of uh, public. We're going to create it. There's going to be a new file called index.html. Now this is the entry point where we want to style our chat application. So HTML and we get our little uh, skeleton here. Put, I'm going to put join for the title, pipe it and chat. App. and we are going to be adding a style sheet to this so just below the title I'm gonna grab a style tag sorry not a style tag a link tag because we're gonna be linking to a, uh, a style sheet just like that and I'm gonna do it to slash CSS slash I'm gonna call this the uh, um, styles.css. What do we have right now? Yeah, we have styles.css, which is great. Okay, control save this. We are going to add one more thing, and that is a meta meta tag. And our name is going to be viewport. Our content is literally key value pairs. Okay, so the first one is going to be with. And we're going to set that equal to device width. This is just telling this is just telling the browser that we're going to set the width of the page right now to the to the width of the device, your device that you're on right now or uh, whatever you're on viewing this content. Anyways, and we're going to set the initial initial scale to 1 which makes it all nice and pretty. And one more is user scalable. So user scalable. And we're gonna set that equal to no, meaning that they can't zoom in and out because we already have style sheets for that where we make the text bigger so there's no reason for them to zoom in. So we're gonna just say, no, they cannot scale it. And I wanna be mean like that. So. Control save and notice that I'm not going over too much about HTML because this isn't like I've said before in the past isn't really an HTML CSS kind of a video. It's for more of a JavaScript and uh, Node.js based. So I'm just copy this so that way we do have this meta tag inside of our chat.html just below title and right here we could say uh, not right, nothing right now. So now to actually build our form, we're going to start off with a the body and we're going to give that a class of now these these classes are predefined in our style guide or our style sheets right here. We're going to give it a uh, a class called centered centered form. Now this is going to make the uh, that 
that form, that little white box in the sneak preview of this of the app, that white box is going to be center of the page. Um, we are going to create a div. So let's create a div element. I'm going to just get some of this white space. Div. And we're going to give that a class of centered form underscore form this is the actual where we're literally going going to be putting the form in now let's actually create our form and we're not going to give this a class we are going to give it an action and we don't care about the method our action is force score chat dot html and uh, we'll explain that in a bit. So the div, there's going to be a div inside of here. Let's make another div. And this class is going to be form field. And there's actually going to be more of these. So I'm actually going to, oh, sorry, it's lowercase field. And there's going to be four of these. So let me just get rid of this spacing. So that way I could do control shift D. So there's four of them now. Okay. So our first one is going to be an H3. There's going to be an H3 inside of that. And it's going to say join chat. Okay. Our second one, I'm actually going to expand it because we're going to, we're going to add a label, a label. And we're going to say display name and going down below that. We're going to add our input text type. Yes. Name is going to equal room. And we're going to do autofocus on this autofocus next form field. I am going to do the same thing. I'm going to just copy this and I'm going to expand this paste it. But instead of display name is going to be room name room name and is going to be text and room. Oh, and by the way, sorry, this is name. I was getting ahead of myself. So this is the name. The display name is going to be set to name and the room name is the name is going to be set to room. Now for the last form field is going to be a button. So button and it's going to be, we could get rid of all this and we're going to just put join right there control save this and let's run our chat app one more time let's hit local host and we get something went wrong well at least we get something so but see this room this little thing or this uh less than greater than it's right coming from right around Honestly, I don't know where it's coming from. Hold on, guys. Let me fix this. So I did find a problem. Let me go back here. Uh, right here. And it's underscore underscore form. Control save that. Refresh. And we get this right here. Which you should get the same exact theme if you're using the same style sheet. Or if you made your own style sheet, go ahead and customize it however you want. So we could test this out. Display name WDJ. You already know our room name is going to be, I don't know, node JS, I guess. Let's put it that way. Now, this slash chat dot HTML. Obviously, that's the action. So when with when we put join, click on join, it's going to take us to the chat dot HTML page. But check this out. In the parameters up here, it does give us gives us our name equal to w date w dot dep w d j and our room which is node js now this this is going to be valuable data as you all know because this is this is how we're going to be able to send people to the right room or uh with their right names and all that stuff and we're going to be doing that in the next video where we're going to be passing the room data the room data and we're going to be uh, 
using socket.io to actually get into the rooms we want to get into. All right. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. And if you liked it, please give it a thumbs up. Um, please consider subscribing uh, and comment down below on what you thought about the video. And again, guys, I'm so sorry for not posting videos um, regularly, I guess you could say. But uh, I do want to give thanks to, uh, I did make a poll on Twitter. And you know what? I'm pretty proud. I'm pretty proud because you know what? All four of you guys, whoever you are, you know who you are. All four people voted. Yes. Amazing, right? And we got, we're going to do a, a new series after this series is done, which we're almost, we're about to be done. It's about like two videos away of being done. But um, after this series is done, we're going to be creating my website, our uh, webdebjourney.com website. So I'm pretty excited about that. And uh, I'm going to show you the steps from all the way from branding all the way from actually uh, posting it or uh, hosting it up with our own domain name in our own hosting environment not our own but someone else's like Bluehost or uh, GoDaddy or whatever you want to use but just like one of them but we're gonna be from branding all the way to hosting it that's that's the and it's gonna be a pretty long series I could tell you that much right now uh, because there is a lot of things that goes into uh, the actual branding, the UX, the UI, uh, the wireframing, and the back end, the front end. And not to mention, this is your own personal website, so you do take a lot of a, uh, what's it, considerate, not consideration, but you actually, actually, like, doing it for a client and doing it for yourself is two completely different things. And it, it really is. But we'll get into that in the next series, guys. And thank you so much for watching anyways. And I keep on saying and, but I will see you in the next video.